Welcome to the last presentation in the English 1109 Library Research Series. Part four will cover search tips for using databases. We'll draw on some of the concepts in previous lessons to finish up our series. Searching within databases is very different than searching on Google. It requires a little more thought than simply throwing in a research question and hoping for results. Today, we will start by locating the database list on the library webpage and then begin the process of creating a search statement. We'll look at how to use keywords and synonyms to build the search and show you some search tools that will help you bring back the best articles that are most relevant to what you're looking for. So let's get started. The first step is to know how to access the databases. From the main homepage, there are two ways to do this. The database A to Z list and the databases by subject list. If you aren't sure what databases exist on your topic or within your major, you might want to choose databases by subject and take a look at what librarians are suggesting for your topic. Sometimes though, your professors might ask you to go into a specific database to find an article. When this happens, use the databases A to Z list and you can easily find what you're looking for. For our example, later in the presentation, we'll be using Academic Search Complete, which can also be found under the list of popular databases. To start searching, you'll want to have an idea of the topic so you know what kind of database to use. Secondly, you'll want to identify the main concepts within your research question or thesis. Once you do that, you can then determine the best keywords and possible synonyms for those same words and link them together with helpful research tools. We'll go over some examples of how this works later on. Using positive psychology as our sample topic, we'll go through how to create a search statement to use in the database. Positive psychology in itself is a big, broad topic. So the first thing you want to do is think about possible subtopics that are a little more specific and a little more narrow. Maybe you want to look at the purpose of positive and negative emotions, or the impact of positivity in your career or how gratitude affects life satisfaction. All of these are more specific topics that could be turned into a research question, but still fall under that broad topic of positive psychology. Turning your topic into a research question is a great way to hone in on exactly what it is you're looking for. Continuing with our previous example, we're going to use the question, how does gratitude impact the well-being of college students? From this question, you need to pull out the main ideas or main concepts so that we can begin to search for information on the topic. What do you think the main ideas are? Hopefully, you said gratitude, well-being, and college students. As you can see, keywords are critical to unlocking information. Once you have identified those main topics, you have to start thinking about synonyms. Why would we do this? because you never know exactly how an author may have phrased something, and the databases are so specific that they only search for the words that you actually type in. So if you use the word gratitude, the database only searches for that specific word. But what if an author used thankfulness or grateful? Even though these words mean the same thing, the database won't look for it, and you may end up missing out on a really great article on your topic. So make sure you make a list of synonyms for your keywords. You can try a thesaurus, but also think about the terms that your professors use when talking about your topic. Once you have a good list of keywords, it's time to use some search tools. Boolean operator is kind of a funny little phrase, but it's a helpful search tool that we use to link concepts in the databases. The most common operators are and, or, and not. Here's a quick rundown of what they can all do. And narrows the search so that both concepts appear in the search results or broadens the search, allowing either word to appear in the search results. Not eliminates a search term from the result list. Using these operators in the database to connect your keywords will help you pull articles that deal with all of your concepts and bring back the most relevant results. As we mentioned before, databases are very specific and only search for the word that you put in. For example, if you put in the word educate, it will only look for that word. It would miss similar words though, like educators or education or educational. To simplify your search without typing in every similarly spelled word, add an asterisk to the root of a word to retrieve all other words with the same beginning. Let's see this in action. 
Here we are in an EBSCO database. Putting it all together isn't as hard as you think. Remember our research question? How does gratitude impact the well-being of college-age students? This is how it would look when you put it into the database. See the boxes? Each separate box is going to hold a different concept. So gratitude, well-being, and college students are all separated by the and. Your synonyms, however, will be together within the boxes and separated by or. This is the biggest piece that can mess with your search results. So remember, your concepts are separated in different boxes. Your synonyms are together in the same. If you find that your search pulled way too many results, you can use the select a field dropdown option and limit to abstract. The abstract is a brief summary of the entire article. So searching for your words just in the abstract will usually push your most relevant results to the top of the list. Once you have a good list of results, you can filter and refine even more by limiting to peer reviewed articles or changing the date to find most recent articles first. Now it's time for you to put your skills to the test. After the presentation, navigate to the database A to Z list, select academic search complete, and create your own search statement based on the topic you are researching. Thanks so much for watching the English 1109 research series. We hope you've learned some new ideas and skills that will help you make research at the University of Breeze. Always feel free to reach out to your assigned librarian for more assistance or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one research consultation. Happy researching!